Is your Windows 11 touchpad not working? In this video, you will know how to fix the touchpad not working on Windows 11. Check if the touchpad is disabled. The first thing you should do is to check if the touchpad is disabled. Press the Windows button. Type touchpad settings. Press Enter. You can use Tab or Shift plus Tab to navigate. Now highlight the toggle and press Enter to enable it. Press Tab, then Space to expand it. Press the Tab again and make sure Leave Touchpad On when a mouse is connected is enabled. If not, press the Space button. You can also reset touchpad settings and gestures to default. Some keyboards have physical buttons to disable the touchpad, so you should try finding the key for the touchpad on your keyboard. On my laptop keyboard, it is placed on the F10 key, so I will use it with the FN key. FN plus F10 disable and enable the touchpad on my laptop. Update your Windows 11. The next thing you should do is update your Windows 11. Sometimes a faulty update causes touchpad issues. Press the Windows button and type Windows Update. Press Enter to open it. Now you can use the Tab button to reach the check for updates. Press Enter or Space button. Now download and install the latest updates. Run Hardware Troubleshooter. You can also run the Hardware Troubleshooter. It will look for issues and suggest fixes. To run that, press the Windows plus R button then type msdt.exe space dash id space device diagnostic. Now press enter. You will see the hardware troubleshooter. Now use the tab key to reach the next and press enter. Now the hardware troubleshooter will look for hardware related issues on your system and suggest fixes. Update touchpad drivers. The outdated touchpad drivers could also cause several issues, so we should try updating them. Press Windows plus R button, type devmgmt.msc, and hit Enter. Now press the Tab button once. Then use the down arrow to reach the Human Interface Devices, and press the right arrow key to expand it. Then use the down arrow to reach your touchpad. Then press the Context Menu button on the keyboard. It looks like this. If there are two rules on the key, you will need to use it with the FN key. Just press Shift plus F10. Then use the up and down key to reach the update driver. Press Enter. You can search automatically for drivers or download the driver from the manufacturer's website, then install the driver directly. Reinstall touchpad device. If you have tried updating the driver and the problem is still not fixed, you can uninstall the touchpad device. When you uninstall it and reinstall it, the broken drivers get fixed, so let's try it. Open the device management and reach your touchpad device like in the previous step. Then open the context menu, then select Uninstall Device. Confirm your action by pressing Enter button. Now you will have to restart the PC. Press the Windows key. Use the Tab key to reach the username, then the Right key to the Power option. Press Enter, now restart the PC. After restarting the PC, Windows automatically detects the touchpad device and installs its latest driver. Check Registry If your problem is still not solved after following all the fixes, you should try changing the Windows registry. Press Windows plus R button to open the Run dialog. Now type REG Edit and hit Enter. Select Yes in the UAC prompt. You will see the Registry Editor. Now use the down arrow key to reach the H key local machine and press the right arrow key to expand it. Now use the down arrow to reach the software and the right arrow to expand it. Similarly, go to Microsoft and expand it. Then Windows, Current Version, Policies, then reach to the system. Don't expand it. Press the tab button to reach the right side, then down arrow to reach the Enable Cursor Suppression Press Enter button to open it, then type 0 in the value data, then press Enter. Now you will have to restart the PC for the changes to take effect. To do that, press the Windows key. Use the Tab key to reach the username, then the Right key to the Power option. Press Enter, now restart the PC. Once your PC gets restarted, 
check your touchpad. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.